if you run facebook ads especially if you run several accounts you know how annoying managing everything in facebook can be especially when you want to track changes all the time in this video i will show you how you can automate your facebook ads reporting for free using google sheets the first step is to go to uh, Facebook for developers, developers.facebook.com slash apps. I uh, will include uh, the link in the description box and click on create app. Uh, so you have to choose the first option, uh, manage business integration, continue. Okay, uh, the app display name, um, and just call it test YouTube, and then yourself. Then you can go ahead and create the app. You will then need to complete this annoying security check. perfect so now what we're going to add is the marketing api let's go ahead and click on setup perfect uh, so now ignore this we're going to go to tools and you're going to click on well the several permissions and click on get token then again so now you can copy and paste and we can move on to the fun stuff. Now that we have uh, access to the app and we have access token, we need to be able to read and import the data from the marketing API into the Google Sheet. So to do that, um, we're going to use import JSON. Uh, so it's a script available on GitHub for free. And all you have to do is to copy paste all of it. Uh, make sure that you don't miss anything. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have it on my, on my Google Sheet. Then go back to your sheet. And you're going to access the script editor. So this is in French, but uh, you should click here, the so script editor. And this will bring you here. And then uh, if you don't have anything, I mean, I have uh, several scripts already, but if you don't have anything, you should just create a new script and then copy paste this um, code into your sheet. So once that's done, just save it. And we can go back to the sheet to get the data we want. So what I want to get is the reach, the operations, the clicks, uh, the CPC, and the spend for one um, ad account. This is how I'm going to do it. So let's head to uh, the Facebook uh, website. So they have a um, pretty good documentation for the purpose. Don't worry, we're not going to code. Uh, but the main purpose of this, um, this page is to show you all of the information available. So for example, let's say if you wonder, well, can I get the, the reach? Just go ahead, I mean, it's not there. But, oh, there you go. So you know that you can indeed get the reach and you can see how, and so the, the, this is the page you should go to if you uh, want to get other fields I'm not going to get today and if you want to know how. So I will include this link in the description box. So for now, we're going to go there and uh, we are going to click on Graph API Explorer. And what this is going to do is it's going to well um, uh, allow us to use the, the Graph uh, Explorer to test our queries. So as I've told you, what I want to get is the reach, the impressions, the clicks, the CPC, and the spend. So I'm going to replace that. So you see the structure of the of the URL. I'm just going to replace this with my ad set uh, ID. I mean, with my ad ID, my ad account ID. So let's go ahead. I'm going to replace this with my ad account because I don't want to uh, analyze my ad set, but I want to analyze my account ID. So let's go ahead. And uh, so I'm going to keep this and I'm just going to remove this. Uh, and I'm going to uh, copy paste the information I want. So I said that I wanted to reach the impressions, the clicks, the CPC, the spin. So I just copy pasted all this. And let's see if it works. Okay, perfect, it works. Uh, the only thing is that I'm only getting uh, it for like one day and I would like to get the entire week. So if you go back to this page and you look for the date reset, okay, okay. well, you will be able to see all the date presets available. What I want is uh, last week, month, Sunday, so last week. I'm going to copy that. And 
and I'm going to add here like this take reset. Okay, I have a problem with the web date today. Now let's try it again. It's not working. Yeah, I didn't respect the right um, order, so let's go ahead and try this again. But this time, let's go ahead and try this again. But this time, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to do this. Okay, so let's reset. Oh, I'm just going to add an end here. Now let's try this. Okay, so now it works. So I have uh, all of my um, my spend and uh, my impressions for the day. Perfect. Oh, for the week, sorry. Now that I have all the information I was looking for, I can go ahead and copy this in my Google Sheet. It is here. Okay, so now we almost have um, the entire URL. We do um, need to add the access token and the graph API URL. So let me just start by adding this. So the graph.facebook.com and the version, the current version of the API. And we also need the access token because if we don't add an access token, well, we cannot see data. So, okay, so now if we click, we should be able to see data. Um, it's taking some time. Um, so we have the data we asked. Perfect. So, now that we have this data, Let's try and use the import JSON API to see what we get. So once you install the, the, the script, you will be able to use this function. So let's see what we get now. Perfect. So we do have the information, but I just, first of all, we have it in double. It looks weird. I don't like the formatting. So what we're going to do, that we're going to add some uh, options. So first, we are going to add a query, so we are only going to get the data. So that means that we are only going to get this and not this weird uh, paging information. And then I'm also going to delete the headers so that we can only keep the uh, relevant information. So let's go first query and then the option no headers. Let's try again. This is what we want. Perfect. So we're almost done. I go wondering, well, we have the data, that's great. But what I really want to do is to, um, well, I don't want to be, uh, to have to, well, every week, just redo the formula again and again. What I want is that every week, I want the um, information about my ad account to be uh, entered in this spreadsheet so that I can, um, for example, maybe, um, to, I mean, I can maybe, uh, for example, have um, the growth or uh, see trends uh, week over week of if I'm having less impression, if I'm having less clicks, and so on and so forth. So to do this, let's go back to the script editor. So I, I'm going to paste a script uh, that of course is going to be able, I'm going to be available in the uh, description box. So let's go paste the script and go over it together. So don't worry if you don't know how to code, uh, it's not a problem. Uh, it's quite easy to understand. So here first, the first variable is the sheet name. So weekly overview one, then the account we want to um, you want to get info on, then the access token, and with all with those three elements we can build our our URL. So it's exactly the same URL that we have here. So you see this one is the same. So we have the uh, this part of the URL, then the ID, then the preset, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to change this to last week. Mon no, it's, I think it's month, so yes. Uh, and then we got our fields and we got the access token. So once we get that, uh, the viable spreadsheet is this one. And then the viable sheet uh, well uses this viable sheet name. And then I'm telling the, the sheet to go get the range, so to get to go get the last row plus one. So for example, here, you can see that there's, also, there's already data, there's all uh, this data uh, in this row. And since we want to keep the trends uh, week 
we want to fill the weekly grains, uh, we need to be able to have a script that will only fill well the the row that the row that is still empty. So we're going to get the last row, the first column, and then we're going to set the value import JSON, uh, then the URL, this following URL, and then data and the address. So let's save and let's run it. And as you can see, we have the information. So of course now we have the same information because I'm asking for the for last week um, data. But uh, what we're going to do now is to add um, a trigger. So let's click here. Okay. So let me just. Oh, okay. I call this weekly XP. So I'm going to add a trigger. I'm going to look for my my uh, feature weekly XP. And I am going to, yes, so pick an hour. And it's going to be, uh, so this, is, this means weekly, so it's going to be weekly. Yes, I like it, every Monday. And I'm going to do it, yeah, I think midnight is good. So that when I wake up on Mondays, I don't have to, I mean, I can wake up, open the sheet, and have my information. So I'm going to save this. So every Monday at midnight, uh, this will be, uh, this function will be run. Okay, so there you have it, is your spreadsheet. And then, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can, uh, maybe if you want to have a breakdown of two campaigns, if you want to do it at the asset level, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and you can also, for example, um, well, uh, add formulas to see trends, to see uh, the evolution of your campaigns. This is up to you. Um, but this is going to be it for today, and if you're interested, I have, I have a spreadsheet to uh, what I call the ultimate raise reward reporting spreadsheet, where you can report at the asset level, where you can report at the ad level, uh, you can report at the campaign level, and you can um, also make changes to the better budget directly in the in the sheet. For example, let me show you. You can do stuff like this. And then change the budget of your campaign. So if you want to try it, I will include the link in the description box. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.